Hello and welcome back. We're here playing Sokoto in Victoria 3. Uh, last episode, we had the war to end all wars, where we fought against France, Great Britain, and Austria all at once, which was quite the big war. We also got to 1 billion GDP uh, at some point in that episode. Um, the three of those combined are actually incredibly strong. Uh, they do have a larger economy than us and a larger military. We managed to squeeze it out, though. Uh, the AI is doing a lot better in general in 1.2.2. Uh, I have noticed we have this revolution going on in Radical Japan. I think we're going to fight this revolution. Um, what we could do if we wanted to fight more wars in Africa is we could just capitulate and let our protectorate go. But I don't want to do this because pain. And so we're going to finish fighting this. And then we're going to try and right the economy because the economy is kind of a uh, little, little sus right now. Uh, and we'll try and do that. One way we'll try and right this is trying to do any sort of trade routes that we can. Um, the problem is that, generally speaking, no one wants to trade with us anymore. So uh, that is a bit of a problem. Uh, and there's not a very good way to right that problem. We do have a ton of convoys, but um, it's hard for us to import anything. Uh, we are running oil shortage too now, which is a bit uncomfortable. I think we're on some oil PMs we can maybe get rid of. We will just import from everyone the oil because we want them to produce more. Um, we, of course, do have this smiley face bug, whatever it is. I don't know exactly what provokes that, but it's an amusing one. Uh, actually, why don't we just import this from everyone we can? I uh, don't care that it's not going to be profitable. It will encourage them to build iron and trade it with us. I just kind of hit all of these. For the most part, a lot of these countries uh, will not want to trade with us anymore, uh, kind of thing, because we have super high infamy. Again, just trying to get our inputs cheap. Don't care that this is not profitable for the, the trade center. This is a nothing burger for us. And we have three landings prepped here in Radical Japan, so we should be able to do it pretty quick. Uh, but I guess we'll send more guys over. Red Rover, Red Rover. And just try and enforce as fast as possible. Something like that. We have a queue pretty, pretty well filled out. We could increase taxes. We don't want to increase taxes because we're currently just sitting at a threshold where if we increase taxes, we will lose our righteous government. And we want to keep that. Um, and deficit spending is not too bad. We also have, uh, our standard of living is going to climb back up. We're going to keep getting more events for, uh, what is it? Not population, but for, uh, getting more immigration, so this sort of thing. We have really high SOL relative to the rest of the world in all of Africa. The beacon of, uh, high standard of living. We are not going to be joining any plays against anyone. Um, although we kind of hate... Actually, well, no, so, if we could get Austria to back down, this one would be worth it. Let's just take a save and see what happens, because we want to puppet Tripolitania. Uh, we don't want Austria to puppet Tripolitania. So we're just going to take a quick save, and we're already, like, going to be at war anyways. So, let's just see about doing that. We definitely want to remove the colonizers from Africa, so I'm glad we spotted this. And we have everything mobilized. Uh, so I think there's a decent shout that Austria just backs down here, too. If not, we will lengthen our truce with them, but this is kind of whatever. We only need to fight one war with Austria to get them out of uh, Africa. They currently have Tunis. They have uh, Liberia, and they have Madagascar, which I'm not sure if I want to count or not. Let's see. You have to just be super fearful, yeah. Spain sides with Austria. Yeah, so this is the problem, is everyone hates our guts. So Austria is likely to get several allies here. And it looks like we got some landings going through here. So we should enforce on them pretty quick. Hopefully, it would be nice if we could get start a war before this happens. They're worried now. 
could turn on some of the PMs for airplanes. We finished the air thing, and we haven't really gotten to use any of the PMs. Why don't we swap up some of them? But not all. Just to get the places employing a little bit. Please back down. Please decide it isn't worth the headache. They are minus 45, so... Unfortunately, there is no additional uh, thing. Alright, can we start our own war now? No, we can't, because we're involved in this play. Uh, we wanted to go after Tripolithania ourselves. We could just back down as well here, uh, and just be able to start a war ourselves. Uh, we could start a war to pep Tripolithania. Austria will beat us to the punch. Um, but, when we fight Austria again... We could transfer subject them. Tripolitania. Let's see if they back down just before. Actually, I'm gonna swap all of these over. Oop, I'm gonna swap these to battleships. Swap all of these to aerial reconnaissance. I'll delete some of these barracks that we just acquired. Gabon. And where's... Okay, I guess we'll just have 1,005. And I think the plan here is to actually back down and not fight Austria here. Because we cannot take anything off of Austria in this war. Like, uh, if we could add war goals here, we would. But we're just gonna... If they don't back down, we're just gonna swap out here. Yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, we can't change our stance. Why not? Oh, because there's a war goal against our country. Well, I guess we're stuck in it. So let's assign everyone to this single front that we have. And just pray that they back down. A little unfortunate, but... Also, on principle, I think this is correct. Uh, we'll keep some of these guys at home, I guess, to defend. Don't feel like clicking. Don't think we need to. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, it's exactly zeroed out now. Okay, Austria, you can back down. No shame in knowing when you're uh, going to get clapped. Yeah, they're not going to. Damn it. Alright. Take the tech. See if we have any in reserve. Ooh, we just have South China, 50. I didn't even realize we'd created a battalion there. All right, fair enough. Oh, these are just the conscripts, damn it. We don't actually have like a full general there. Four months clouds is completed. You don't say? I'm still on trench, my boy. <sighs> but we will continue to have... We wish we could put the conscripts down, but we can't put the conscripts down. Uh, and we've had them raised all throughout this time. 
Um, but... Uh, hopefully we get a quick landing here. It's fine, and then we'll come in here, and we will... Designate the strategic objective. What the hell? We want to designate... Oh, it's not on an enemy. Okay, it's, we gotta establish a front first. Fair enough. De defending the integrity of Africa here. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I think we're just gonna bankroll the Shogunate so they stop having revolutions, hopefully. I think it's because they lose market access uh, in wars. Oh, uh, but our relations are below four. Wait, what? Why can't we bankroll you? That seems like a bug, but okay. Just instantly breaks. Why are we having more logging available? Weird. Well, we are about to need more bureaucracy. Pain. Pain. So much pain. Alright. Oh, we're not making radios. That is a problem. <laughs> That's a pretty big mistake. Alright. Uh, that explains why we've been running a... I was wondering why we had a radio shortage. So that's gonna take us up, and then we're just gonna 51 this. So this is 31, 41, 51, and that'll give us like several thousand bureaucracies so that we won't have to worry for a while. Yep, it's gonna be, <laughs> that should also save us some money because we were paying a lot for the radios, I think. Um, I don't think we're on, yeah, we should probably come off of this here. On the furniture, because oil has gotten expensive. Uh, just looking through. I think we can delete some more of the unis to save a little bit of money. We will keep, uh, the throughput bonus is really important on the unis, so we'll delete all those. And we'll create radicals over here, which is kind of what we were trying to avoid with that, but, uh, well, let's look in Campania was where we deleted them. So let's do some of this. 31, 41, 51. Put it on auto expand. There we go. Maybe gonna need a little rails there. Nope, probably not. A little tied in. But now there's three, and this one has a nice numbers advantage here, so this one might stick. We'll see. The triple may be a little bit harder to uh, resist. Yeah, almost two to one and just a very slight. Uh, plus we can re-roll the lost. We really want the lost to get re-rolled before we finish the battle. Do want to capture more provinces. Generally a good thing. Uh, they have so many guys there. I mean, we do too. This is the, probably the biggest front I've ever seen, actually. Just gonna screen grab that. It's like, uh... 3,000 battalions total on the front. Yeah, let's go, baby. AI is a bit smarter about defending, too. They don't assign all their battalions to offense like we did. <laughs> Man, even Tripletania hates us and we're protecting them. It's probably not a war we'd want to be stuck in, though, this one. Currently researching the, uh, should be lining towards tanks as best we can. 
really gonna need more natural resources. We could annex Egypt here. They don't have a ton of natural resources though, just farming. Although we're like out of places we can expand the farming or we were running out. Not anymore quite yet, but we will soon. Looks like the economy's recovering a little bit, which is nice. Hopefully we stick in here, or we can push quickly. Cool, they didn't move their capital. AI has been pretty big fan of moving the capital to Bohemia, which makes it much harder to enforce on Austria. Although they're thinking they don't want this heat no more. Poor China has just gotten absolutely wrecked. Look at all this. They like almost don't have a coast anymore. Come on, let's go. Flee. There should be like a routing mechanic, I think. If 30k are facing down 100, you just give up, right? You don't fight to the last man. I don't know. Where's our front? That's it? Oh boy. here and designate Austria as the strategic objective. He's about to lose. Oh, is he immortal? It's just bugged. Yep, so he's eventually gonna land with his 147. Social Democratic Party wins. Yeah, we're pretty in good shape. Patriotic Party, very lot of clout. Very large amount of clout. I'm not sure we win that. Austria, can you give up, please? We don't want to capitulate, because then we lose, uh... Xi'an would die and Ukraine, so we can't just leave. I might even push on this one. But they're not. Mm. We'd be okay with a white piece, to be honest. Do we not have everything mobilized? What the hell? Oh, we have the Chinese general. Oh, what's this guy doing here? He should be there. Move everyone in. This forever battle. The 147 is bugged out. <sighs> nice. We're going to get one off. And we're going to push quite a bit because uh, we do have Ariel, which gives... Uh, we're still adjusting to it, but the increased province is captured real nice. That one's a big one. Free America started to cut down to size CB against us. That's rich. I mean, we'll probably just take as many states as possible. We'll see who joins, though, because if France and Great Britain join, we can get more stuff from them. So 
So hopefully... Well, just the timing is a little bit awkward. You know, we're kind of engaged. We're kind of a little bit busy right now. Um... I mean, I guess we just do it here. Fifty battalions. Should be winning this soon unless they're bugged out. Alright, what is this? What is this peace deal? Austria just pays war reps? Yeah, we accept that. Now, unfortunately, we would love to get rid of the conscripts, but we cannot. So. I'd have to look where their capital is. I think it's not even uh, a, like, reasonable capital. Or, well, New York's, like, where you should have the capital as the U.S., so. Gotta wait till the last minute, though, to, uh, put in on them. Or put, to put in war goals on them, because I'm guessing if France and Great Britain join, we absolutely have to take as much as possible from them. And so, yeah, we will be trying to be set up to do this. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this. How are you confident, my guy? You have a stronger military than us? How is that possible? Alright, where... let's go... Okay, New York is the capital. We'll have some of the guys here at land New York. We do have to keep an eye on this, though. How are you confident? Do you have, like, better PMs than us or something? What are the PMs? The conscripts don't have very good PMs. Oh, you have butt PMs. You're gonna wreck some. Alright, conquer New York, conquer Texas. Thought that was someone joining the war, I was gonna be so sad. I guess we could try and unmanifest their destiny. Looks like no one else is joining. <laughs> Fuck. I thought it was paused. No. Oh. It takes so long to save and load on 1.2.2. 
Texas and New York are going to be a big deal. I think Virginia will also take because they have a huge amount of coal. They're not going to back down because for whatever reason they're confident about this, even though their PMs are booty. Don't know what that's about. Do, 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 do. Uh, Bueller? Bueller? It says you're loading in, but you're not loading in. There we go. Okay. Alright, now it's paused. I almost clicked given. Um. Conquer, where else? Pennsylvania is pretty good, I think. Virginia. West Virginia. Ooh, you have Shandong? Like, the whole thing? Yeah, we'll take that. Will Kentucky have market access is the thing? Don't think it will. Kentucky. Oh, Will through Virginia. They have a lot of coal there as well, if I recall correctly. I wish we war reps was not the primary war goal, but whatever. We will try and land the capital in Shandong. Land Shandong with some little unit. Just try and enforce as quickly as possible. Maybe we should land Texas as well. Not sure. Crazy cut down to size CB, man. Crazy that they're confident. I don't know why. They have more guys mobilized, but their PMs are so bad. Wait, what front do we not have a guy assigned to? Over here? Alright, we don't care too much. Good fortifications, which is going to be helpful a little bit. Dutch East Indies is embargoing us. Tragic. So it goes. I guess this is round two for the US versus the free states. We'll have this 150 stack land in New York, I think. Alright, let's figure out our navy. So, what? who was this 151? Saimia? Saimia. And then this 124 stack. I guess we'll land Texas. Let's, we'll pick a 34, the 34 stack, I guess. Wherever it's at. We'll just run this. Yeah, not super strong on this front, but that's okay. Pretty strong on every other front. We actually have the biggest advantage on this front, so I guess we'll move this guy over here. That is a big battle. Looks like we're probably gonna get the push off here. We can put in the war goal. There's New York. New York. I think that's pretty good. Let's see if we can recruit any generals. Not really. Let's see if we can recruit any admirals. Nope. We're all set. 
There's one flotilla in reserve, which is pretty okay amount to have in reserve. Unfortunately, we can't. Well, we're just gonna import lead from as many people as possible. Not gonna be able to solve our thing, probably. I guess we could have checked to see if uh, they had a bunch of lead, which would have been decent. They have to hold our capital to cut us down to size. Maybe we should have guys staying in the capital to defend, but I think this is fine. Hopefully the naval, naval invasion comes in pretty soon here. Looks like we won't get off the push there. We might hear though, we this is like the even size front, which is gonna close up if we take this, I think, and then they'll move over to here, which is kind of our weakest front, so this will be good. Mechanized agriculture is closed, tragic. I think that we didn't want to use, uh, oop. Do want that. But I think it's because we didn't use tractors. Uh, I guess we probably should have been on tractors, oh well. Our bad. Focusing on other stuff. Or my bad, I suppose. Yeah, this all seems fine, unless we have the baking thing, which we don't. Naval invasions are coming in now. I think that they don't have any guys held back or in reserve, so this should be good for us. We, of course, want to help the revolt, I think. Because so we have a truce with Congo. We don't have a truce with the proletarian revolt. So we'll side with the proletarian revolt, and then we will move... Uh, some small guy over. 30 is probably about as small as we're gonna get. To help the Congo. Just so we can annex them later. We get our invasion on here. Um, who are they pulling from to help the front? We'll add another guy here from there, and from here to there. Looks like we're gonna get a free push, hopefully. Or another one. Another one. We are in on Texas now as well. I'm assuming we're in here, yeah. Should just comfortably push and take all of it. So we should be enforcing at a decent clip here. They're getting minus 6k, or 6, and we're getting minus 2. We have 100% of the war goals. They are not super occupied, which will speed things up quite a bit. Nice that we get a bit of a split here, which is going to be nice. And it should look to them like we're going to get everything we want. We don't care about the war reps, really. I mean, they're not nothing. They're nowhere near winning this. Which is fair enough. It's nice that we had so many fronts, because we have the United States of America, and we don't have to just, like, raw dog land them. I was just saying how the AI sucks at landing, and uh, then they land us, so... I guess that's my bad. AI is dramatically improved. I wish that they would not improve in critical wars like this, but we... I think are still gonna enforce all that faster. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
I think we just recruit a new general. Right in the Niger HQ? Oh, we can't. Alright. Uh, we gotta find a small guy who's in the Niger HQ and fire him. Defensive strategies. Promote you a whole bunch. Do that. And then this forty three guy, Kumbari, we're gonna use him to land behind here. And then we're going to raid convoys. The United States here. Hopefully that does some stuff. We are enforcing on them faster, but this is also going to break our economy and cause a lot of devastation. It's going to be annoying. I guess we're fine with them getting political strength. We're still enforcing on them faster, but they do have war goals on us. They control 100% of our worlds. It's a base trade. Alright, cool. Very good here. We can definitely decay them below zero, so we should enforce on them. Which is gonna be nice. Kind of coming close to the end here. Of dirt here. Their war with the Congo. We do have guy on the front, or headed there, or did. I guess we used him. It looks like the proletarian revolt's crushing them anyway, so kind of whatever. Just occupying all of New York here. Not too much problem. I guess we'll take a look at what we can do in terms of this stuff. Not super profitable, but we do have... Is that the AI? Caring about economies of scale? Hell yeah, brother, if that's what that is. Marks embargoing us, tragic. Oh, did I leave one on 41? I did. That's not ideal. Haven't picked this up in a while. The Nin desperately needs. We're coming on that. I guess we're going to enforce on them first, but this is ugly. Get the label, the landing off and back, which we'll be able to use to get some stuff. Seku, we will come over here and help here. Him. Just to try and enforce that faster. Because I just realized we will be stuck in that war. And enforcement in three, two, two, one. Nope. What? We ticked Monday. Why didn't you tick? Or you ticked on Tuesday? Alright. Time to press the button and switch all the PMs. Yay! Oh, 
boy. Oh bother, what do we do? I guess we don't need, uh, the airplanes were swapping. Oh, I thought we took Virginia. Oh, I guess we just took this. That's not ideal. So. These guys are gonna, like, rebel, like, 100%. Uh, oh well. <laughs> just have, like, Separatist Virginia, I guess. Um. Yeah, man, the AI is, like, so much better. All this is all pretty caked up here. I could have sworn we put Virginia in there. Oh, well. Yeah, they're just already max built up. Or, well, Kentucky's not, but <laughs> you have no market access to Kentucky. All right, so... Um, God, it's gonna be like so hard to try and figure out just building our own economy inside of Kentucky to try and have stuff be all evened out the way it needs to be. I don't know if that's even worth doing. And everyone gets moved over here. I think we're gonna swap PMs on our conscripts to uh, down to nothing. Do still have some raised. God, that's frustrating that we did that. We're getting this oil, sulfur, all these resources is all really nice. We would incorporate if we could incorporate before the end of the game. We're definitely gonna have to delete a lot of the, a lot of these government admins. Let's just get rid of that one. Probably not gonna need a lot of these. I don't know why it's constructing more. It's not responsive in that way. i delete a lot of these here as well. Not gonna need them especially there. We did not take Florida, we took Pennsylvania and New York. I guess we should only delete one. Let's just delete all the New York ones. As well as the unis. Add some shipyards, 51 this. I think we need, I forget what we need. Oh, we definitely want power plants in New York. There we go. Just enforcing here. Waiting. I guess we can capitulate here. We're no longer needed. Yeah, we can just capitulate. And then fight a different war and then come back and fight that. So let's take on Tripoli. And conquer everything. And do that. <laughs> I'm just get a bunch of guys on the front. Probably all not needed, but we also just struggling to find money here. SOL is kind of not doing so hot. Maybe we should just release. 
we release Kentucky? We cannot. Can't release the CSA either. Come on, you have to see this as completely... How is this just uncertain? Would be annexed? I mean, it is minus 75, so we can't mobilize anymore to make them less likely. If someone joins in, though, we can take stuff from them. Really wish we could start multiple wars, but we can't. We do want to annex Congo here. I guess maybe we should have puppeted them, just for the map painting perspective. They would have backed down to that. Annex everything but a little bit. Algeria sides with them. Which is great. They're extraordinarily unlikely to back down because they're getting like full annexed. Um, which means we can take all of Algeria too. Which will also help with the resource consideration. Now... I wish I could just auto-set the PMs. Super grim. This, like, 100% revs. I want to, like, give it back to the US, even. Because I don't want to get bricked by a revolution. God, we have so much more construction now, actually. Let's just take a look. Where is the new construction? Delete some of it. We don't need that much. We also don't need the barrackses. We'll just wind them down slow-ish. This is, like, uh, a big money sink. We just want this to be eco out here, so... And the unis, too? God. There we go. We'll come back to that later. How do we have minus... Oh, okay. Well, even still. Really fine if they back down, really fine if they don't. Cause we'll get Algeria too. What is this? Tunisian secession? Oh, is that for this? Is this Tunisian? Yeah, also, ooh. Yeah, Kazambe. Nice. Maybe this is doable. So this is seceding. It has no market access. This, all this has no market access, so it's likely to succeed. Increase institutions. I mean, we're super overpaying on this stuff, but I don't want to fire everyone all at once. This is just grim, though. Trying to make tools. This needs explosives. This needs explosives. We can just delete all these munition things, I think, though. Corn's really nice. France sides with Tunisia. Don't love this. Oh, no, wait. France sides with this. Never mind. I thought it, France was siding with AAA. I was like, that's grim. Them fighting each other is perfect for us. Just weaken each other, please. Looks like this is gonna pop off, man. There's just so much, like, I don't... I guess I need to go in and just uh, take mobilization out of... Yeah. and take conscription out as well. I 
because I don't care. Alright, we're gonna also land them. Milan, I think. And then land here with Yusufu. Hopefully this works. I don't think I need paper for anything here. That's here. Particularly localized. Yeah. Welcome to the Uyghurs. Really don't need these government admins or these unions. But mostly don't need the admins more. Yep, they're getting wrecked here. Cool. They're doing decent. Have decent PMs. Not as much here though. So I guess maybe we should put more guys over here. Dixie mass immigration, you don't say. Are you leaving Missouri? Our country to Missouri, yeah. You don't say from here, yeah. Makes sense. In Kentucky, at least. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> you just can't pay anything. And we fired a ton. There should be like a ton of unemployment, yeah. Take the Congo and Ashanti soon. Truce with them is going to be up soon. Lower taxes. Kind of getting a little close to defaulting. Do want to be in that next bracket though. We're paying a whole lot for stuff we don't need here. In the government admins and in the unis. So let's get rid of them. Alright, I think we're kind of good. Getting a lot of mass migrations, which is good. Probably gonna enforce on Tripoli soon. Landing pops off. Super glad that none of these battles have gotten bugged, because that would be really annoying. Tunisia still exists, but. Alright. Wonder which one's the Tunisian separate. I guess the separatist movement's here. Not sure I understand. Will you accept us taking everything? No, but close-ish. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself for this. Thought we... Oh, we're subsidizing this? Yeah, let's not. Yeah, that's where all our money was going. Holy shit. What are we paying in subsidies? 
Oh, we're subsidizing so much stuff. All right. All right, let's play. Let's use a little hammer thing. Oh yeah. And then. We should copy whether or not you're subsidizing buildings. There we go. Subsidy was eating us alive. Now, of course, a bunch of people will get fired here. Take capitulation? No, just barely not though. Not expanding Kentucky. Our shame. And we will hit the button again. Victoria is making uh, cars, which is why we're not swapping them over. Ooh, sulfur and iron. We will incorporate you, incorporate you, incorporate you, incorporate you, incorporate you. Now, let's see. I think we have a truce with them, kind of. 32, that's our France truce, 31, and our UK truce, 31, okay. So somewhat similar, we do have to get in the Netherlands out. Netherlands has just a little bit here, or we could just puppet them straight up. I think I like just puppeting them. The Netherlands have this, so let's make them a puppet. Largely so we don't forget. <clears throat> they want to puppet Tunisia, and Tunisia doesn't want to get puppeted. Well... We don't want them to puppet Tunisia. So then we'll have to fight them again. We'll lean Tunisia. I wish we could put wanting Virginia. That would work out so well for us. Love to see that those two are fighting. Conquer Windward Coast, make it primary, and then also add war reps. Actually, no, because depending on who joins, actually, we shouldn't have done that. Ugh, that was a mistake. Because if France and Great Britain join, this is going to be the war we have with them. I think I might just have to load then if they join. We'll see who they sway. They're very pessimistic though. And they're in bankruptcy, yeah. If no one else joins, we'll put in like ask for war reps or something. Or once it gets like three quarters of the way through. And this, we're just gonna side.
the mobilize all button. We can still click it. We don't have a front with the Netherlands, so we will have to land them, but we'll just use one of these boyos. It's over here. Maybe we should have kept our conscript stuff going? I don't know. is actually getting built in the Niger Delta. We'll just do some of that though. Hopefully we get there in time. We might not even get, be getting there in time on this. No, I think our guys are. Yeah, they're uncertain. Why are you... Just because Tunisia's loans and in bankruptcy? Well... Can we take on your debt? No, we can't. Shit. you back down please all right so it looks like maybe no one's joining so we'll just ask for dutch war reparations this way they have something to lose Wish we could put in stuff here. Oh, and all these war goals are on us. Wait, why was it? What happened to pumping Tunisia in here? Okay, whatever. I could have sworn they were trying to puppet them. Teenagers in the British market now. What the fuck? So this war doesn't do anything anymore because they can't be puppeted. Or they're, they got subjugated by Great Britain. That's stupid as hell. I just want to load. We're not even defending them from the puppet. Yeah, so we just won't get involved in this. We'll be finishing up this war. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do is call it an episode. Um, this episode, we had a couple fights. We had fought the U.S. We got some weird stuff. Um, we're doing this Tripoli and Algeria fight. Uh, I think we had a couple other fights. We had one other big fight. We fought Austria to preserve Tripolitani, and now we're just annexing all these guys. Um, and we're going to continue to try and take the rest of this, but we only have seven years left, so I don't think we're going to be able to. I think we will be able to eject everyone, uh, both France and Great Britain, from uh, the Africa, but we'll see. 
Uh, we should have to fight one more war with each of them and one more with Austria, so maybe this is just a little too much to do in the seven years we have remaining, but we'll see. We also have to fight the Netherlands. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, we don't want to get stuck in a random CSA or fight against the free states. That's just not going to work out for us anyways. Uh, because the, the Tunisia is just getting subjugated by Great Britain either way, I guess. Um, so we'll see how we can do things uh, next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.